Hello friends, once again welcome back to Alchemy Academy platform. So in this video lesson, I'll discuss about the crude desalter control philosophy. So basically I'll discuss about mainly the control philosophy like how to control the desalter, level control and the pressure control. So just I'll brief about the overview of desalter then after that I'll go for the this controlling philosophy. So what happens in the uh, CDV unit, crude distillation unit and wag distillation unit, there is a uh, there is equipment called desalter and the objective of the desalter unit is basically to remove the impurities. So impurities, there are crudes is there in that some impurities will be there. That those impurities are in the form of the salts will be there. Uh, here you can see the salts are there, solid, metals, water, I means these are the impurities that we have to remove because it will cause the negative effect in the downstream units like it can create falling erosion of spec product then it can cause corrosion and equipment you know exchanger falling scaling catalyst poisoning or else uh, or if water also we have to remove the water also if water goes into the in uh, uh, units uh, atmosphere column atmosphere column in that case it will cause the water short and can create a unit upset so major uh, objective of the desalter desalter that equipment is to remove impurities which are present in the uh, crude oil. So the desalter basic uh, no, mechanism that we use for the separation of impurities are three things. One is disperse, then coalescence will be there, then separation will be there. So what does it mean by dis dis disperse? Basically, uh, that crude will be there. What will happen to crude? Basically, the crude we get it from the refinery tank form from there. Offside crude feed pump will be there. After that, it will give a discharge. Then it comes to the unit CD unit. Here it will have a feed pump. From feed pump discharge will go to preheat train. And from feed pump discharge, only one control valve will be there. That will basically control the pressure of the desalter basically. So after this charge, preheat train basically to heat uh, this crude which are coming from the refinery tank form to a desalting temperature. The importance of increasing that temperature basically to reduce the viscosity and increase the fluidity so that when wash water will mix here, proper mixing should happen. And so after that it goes to the desalter. So in the desalter basically removal of impurities, salt and water will happen. So now I'll focus the basic mechanism here. You see it here. First thing is disperse. Washing of crude with water through mixing valve to diffuse salt in crude this, uh, to diffuse salt in crude to water basically whatever the salt which are present in the crude it should dissolve in water it should dissolve in water because when wash water we will inject here inject here here and when it passes through the mixing valve this wash water is coming after that here mixing valve will be there so when it passes through there it will it will thorough, thorough mix the uh, water with the crude in that case whatever the trapped salt is there or dissolved salt are there in the crude that will gets dissolved into the water before it gets into the desalter correct so first mechanism uh, that we do actually to disperse basically disperse what water with the uh, crude oil now this device is mixing walls and static mixer continuously blend stream at a lower shear correct then after that comes the uh, coalescence so normal in refinery the desalter we use is of the electric desalter okay so what happened electrocoalescence carried out for water droplets and once electrocoalescence carried out from a small drop it forms a bigger drop so what will happen in the desalter basically once you root that it goes to the desalter here you can see the diagram once it goes to the desalter what, what happened in the desalter there will apply 15 to 20 kilo volt uh, voltage supply we give and here will be the two plates will be there one will be as the positive charge one will be the negative charge here you can see it uh, this diagram you can see it here here positive charge here negative discharge so what will happen due to this high electric voltage supply uh, because waters are of this is water droplet okay water is of a polar in nature due to this positive charge here you can see negative 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 induced charge will develop okay here negative it is definitely that's why because here it will develop positive this side this positive positive it is showing correct so here it will develop partial positive charge then bottom plate you can see negative so due to this water polar nature here on the water particles will develop positive this positive positive basically here 
in this positive charge because of here positive then here it creates a negative charge because of this positive part and this negative part uh, that water droplets will try to come closer so this droplet will come further closer and closer after that it will become coalescence it will form a slight bigger particle correct then after that it will be a bigger water droplets like that continuously that electro coalescence will be there okay so this i told how electro coalescence will happen correct this part i explained you now it forms a bigger droplet now what will happen once it becomes a bigger droplet due to gravity it will start settling down correct it will start settling down so bottom the dissolver it will settle down so due to gravity it will it will start settling down so this process will continue so due to that here bottom portion water you know accumulation will be there here interphase level will will be there and then top portion oil will be there correct so three phase formation will happen and here that's why b will uh, monitor the interphase level and that's why b will have a control valve so that's how we maintain the desalter level so interphase level we maintain whatever water will be there uh, from this control valve okay uh, we'll, suppose we want to maintain this interphase control level around 40 percent so above 40 percent if this level goes on this control valve will further open it will allow to water water go to so our water is stepping in it basically for further tre further treatment suppose this level is coming down then with what will happen this control valve will start closing in order to maintain the 40% set value okay this control philosophy i'll explain later i'm trying to explain basically the desalter working mechanism basically but here in this video i'll discuss mainly on the uh, you know control philosophy so objective of desalter i have explained you now okay the one thing which i have the principle which i was telling basically is electro uh, electro coalescence okay electric desalter so in that what will happen one two immiscible liquids one electrically conductive and one non conductive pass through a high intensity electric field the conductive liquid coalesces into large drop that's what i was trying to tell correct so in crude oil water emulsion system water is electrically conductive hence coalesces into large drops and falls to bottom being heavier than oil correct so that is the reason i told bigger electric when we apply uh, if i want to summarize here i'll say once we apply high uh electric voltage in the desalter what will happen it will induce a current in the water droplets because water droplets is of polar nature it will create a induced charge and due to the induction of the charge the positive uh, part of the water droplet will coalesces with the negative part of another water droplets it will come together it will form a bigger drop once it forms a bigger drop drop due to density and Uh, due to uh, gravity it will be starts coming down because oil density is lower than the water drop uh, water density so that's why it will come down from there comes a label control philosophy so that's why we need to maintain this label control philosophy and correct so now i'll try again to uh, explain this label control philosophy i had just explained also so one desalter is there here i want to maintain suppose 40% Here, this is the master here controller will be there this is a label controller will be there lt will be there that will measure the you know current value suppose set value i have given here 40 percent measure value it measured suppose the label present value came 45 percent this the controller will create an error of five percent that it will tell that our label is more than five percent then the desired then it will give a command to the control valve that lic the label indicator controller will command to the control valve that you act in such a way that this label has to come down to 40% so what will happen because this label already has so what will it gives a command to the controller in such a way that it will start opening so that label will start more water flow will be there through this and it will bring down the label to around 40% now so consider a case suppose this label i want set value of set value 40% but label has gone present value around 35% then again here present value it will measure it will compare with the set value it will give an error of 5% error in the such a way that label is dropping so i want to increase the, we want to increase the level of desalter in that case what will do basically this controller will give a command to the controller to act in such a way that i want this level uh, level to be increased so this close controller will give a command it will start slowly closing the control valve tuning basically be do that pid that tuning will be there okay that tuning be do accordingly it will act correct so this is how we uh, control that is alter level control correct 
now what happens if we don't uh, consequences now will understand what will happen if we don't control the level in that case what happen if the interface level is low can lead to all carry over to effluent so this interface level suppose broken and this lower side then chances are there that oil crude oil is there it can go to sewer water stripping unit so it can cause a severe upset in that unit because we want to send only not oil only sewer water basically now in the case when this water level is higher than what will happen there are chances that water will carry over to the downstream of unit suppose atmosphere column it will go so it will give give you a water shot and sudden you know pressure shoot up in the atmosphere column it can cause a big uh, you know upset in the atmosphere column so that's why we don't want water to go that's why we need to control the desalter level now coming to the desalter pressure control so desalter pressure how do we control suppose this desalter pressure i want to maintain around 10 kg per centimeter as per our operation requirement so 10 kg now the this control valve will be situated after pump, feed pump discharge only so what will happen it will take a pressure uh, indicator suppose this pressure came 9 kg current present value so what will happen it will give a controller pic pressure indicator controller command that pressure has come down and uh, then the set value so desired was 10 kg but came 1 kg error it will generate of 1 kg error 1 kg per centimeter square error difference it will create so this controller will come give a command to this controller you at send to be the so that this pressure should increase so it will start opening more flow will go through this so pressure will increase in the case suppose your desired set value is 10 kg it has gone to 11 kg so in that case what happen it will measure the pressure p here 11 kg and this pressure uh, it will compare with the set value now 1 kg is more than the desired set value so in that uh, condition this pic this controller will give command to the control valve in such you work in such a way sir so that this pressure should come down in that case what will happen this control valve need also that loss flow will go and pressure development should be lower so this is how we operate the pressure so what will happen if we don't control the desalter pressure so in that case what happen you can see it if pressure fluctuations are high then at a lower pressure booster pump may lose suction so this here this is the booster pump it can lose the suction and uh, at a higher pressure it can uh, lead to mechanical damage to equipment if it is a higher pressure then if it goes to the you know this desalter then there is chances that internals of desalter can be damaged so this is what i was uh, i thought to tell you regarding the control philosophy of desalter basically one level and other is pressure control so guys that's all for today thank you thank you so much if you guys have any doubt you can comment in the comment box i can try to clarify it there thank you thank you so much